Hi, my name is Randy Norris, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you if I told you some of the tricks that I've done in my home theater room. As you can see from the camera here, we've got a long, narrow room uh, with a window behind the projector. I wanted to have at least a 100-inch screen. Turns out 100 inches was the most I could do. We didn't want to go lengthwise, which would have allowed me to do a bigger screen, say dropping down from the ceiling in front of the fireplace, because that would have limited the number of seats that were available. By doing it this way, we maximize the number of seats, and we can have, at a minimum, six people down here for a movie. So, what I have is the JVC X790R. It's a 4K projector, but not native 4K, meaning it can accept a 4K signal and project it onto the screen and it does its pixel moving magic. But what it has is amazing contrast. The only issue is, if you're thinking about putting in a projector, you know that the projector has to project the image onto the screen, which I have over here on the wall. It's a fixed screen and you need a certain throw distance between the projector lens and the screen. That distance is easily calculable if you go on to projectorcentral.com. They've got a throw distance calculator on there. You can pl plug in any projector you want and it'll tell you how much distance you need. My problem was I didn't have quite enough distance between the projector and the screen for a 100 inch screen and so as you can see, I had this shelf that I had installed onto the ceiling. That then allowed the projector to sit at a level where the projector, if you can see, sort of butts into the window well a little bit there, which gained me just the extra three to four inches that I needed to perfectly fill the 100 inch screen. I then have blackout blinds because I'm fully aware of the fact that there are ambient light screens available now. Screen Innovations does an amazing job of those, but if you're really going to do a theater room, and this is in our basement, um, a theater room should have, at the very least, a very light gray, if not a white screen, uh, so that when those colorful images appear, um, they really pop off the screen. And that's why I have this Alun Vision 100 inch screen. As you can see, there's a big black velvet border around there. But as everybody knows, when you're watching a widescreen movie, you get the black bars at the top and bottom. All of the TVs out there now are really fighting with, you know, whether the borders are true black or gray, and is there blooming, and is there light bleed? problem with the front projection is you get those black bars at the top and bottom and then they become gray when the movie goes on because the light is shining onto the screen. It eliminates the huge advantage in particular of this JVC projector which has the amazing black levels and amazing contrast and so I was wondering how can I fix that? What is a very simple solution to creating jet black borders? Well, I thought about it and I realized that the JVC projector has lens memory. So if you look at the screen here, you can see I've just got no, nothing up there, so I don't want any copyright uh, problems with the video. It's just showing the main screen from my uh, 4K HD Blu-ray player. And if I hit the memory button on the remote, you can see the image slides up on the screen. You then have no black bar at the top because the image has been removed and gone off at the top of the screen. I then have a black velvet border that I simply stand up. It just rests on the TV stand when it's not in use. I've measured it for 239 to 1, and it just completely blocks all of the light and creates a jet black border. 
I'm not going to show you in the dark with all of the blinds closed because you really won't be able to see anything, but it becomes truly black. And as you sit there, all you see is the image. You can't even see any of the black vel velvet borders. It's just truly black. So how did I make this? Well, I went to the local Home Depot. I mean, it could be Lowe's, could be whatever is in your neighborhood. Got a quarter inch piece of plywood, had them cut it for me to the exact measurement from the top of my TV stand up to the bottom of where the edge becomes from the border for 239 to one. And you may be wondering, some movies are 235 to one, some are 240 to one. Uh, I measured it uh, so that it would never take too much of the image. So it's always, uh, on some movies there might, you could see just a little tiny fraction uh, of screen that is not blacked out uh, because of the different measurement, but you never notice that in the movie. So this covers the measurement for the vast majority of movies. The covering that I used is black velvet. I went to a fabric store, any fabric store will do, I'm sure. Purchased the black velvet, probably cost you maybe 50 bucks for the black velvet. I tried black felt because it was cheaper. That was a mistake. The black felt looked gray, not jet black. You need the jet black velvet. And then a piece of plywood was probably 20 bucks and you're finished. You have the perfect black borders. And I just thought that might be a good solution for some of you who are struggling with this issue. Um, and if you try this, your whole movie experience will be completely different. You'll appreciate all of the movies that much more because there's nothing worse than that little bit of gray that seeps in when you don't have the black borders completely black.